Okay, here we go. Very first story here. This story comes from the AITA subreddit and is titled, Am I the astronaut for refusing to share my huge inheritance with my step-siblings? Money never causes problems, right? So I, 17 male, found out only a few weeks ago that my dad left me a lot of money in a trust. Like, it's such a crazy amount that I didn't really believe it at first, but it's true. The reason is my dad had inherited from both of his parents already. He also inherited from the only two uncles he had as well, and one of them was very successful and had a business. This was all explained in a letter my dad wrote to me. He had the trust set up before he came into most of the money, but when he found out his cancer was incurable, he decided to put it all aside for me once all medical bills were paid off for him. My parents were separated but not legally divorced when my dad was sick slash died but they weren't living together or a couple for years. My mom found out about the money because she read the letter he sent to me about the issue. Then she insisted she was joining me to meet with a lawyer to discuss it. When my mom learned about the money, she told her husband, and suddenly the money became a very touchy subject. Suddenly. I can't touch it until I'm 19 with the way my dad set it up, so I have some time to deal with this, but my mom and her husband want me to share the money with my step-siblings, 14, 8, and 7. The... uh, what who have no connection to this man or that side of the family whatsoever the money is enough where even if i pay for college and buy a house i would have money left the way the trust works i was told it's also getting interest which my dad had intentionally set up my mom and her husband have struggled financially for years they started dating when his youngest kid was one his wife had died he was going through a legal battle with the mother of his oldest and his oldest is in therapy for trauma caused by their mom also his youngest was born with some medical issues and has lots of doctor's appointments between everything money was tight we live paycheck to paycheck and i work to make my own life a little more comfortable but we had no college savings or anything before this my mom and her husband drained their own bank account to keep a roof over our heads this has all been brought up to me as good reason why i should do this my mom told me it was selfish for dad to put it all away solely for my future and he should have been thinking about raising me as well she told me i might not call her husband dad or his kids my siblings but we are a family and that this family has been through so much together and we have struggled for so long that it would be so good and generous for me to do this i told her it's not like i can access the money right now she said no but when i do i should set up accounts for my three step siblings so they have a better chance at college and if not college the chance to have a a help start in life despite all they're trying to talk me into it i said no I told them I wasn't going to share the money. My mom was so mad, but it was nothing compared to how mad her husband was. They told me to quit being selfish and start acting with compassion. Am I the astronaut? Hell no. Hell no. There are so many problems with this that we will dive into, but... This is one of the worst things you could ever do to your child. The, the manipulation and the guilt and the positioning, the posturing that has happened in this scenario is not okay at all. Not okay at all. Uh, and at this point, I, you almost might have a grounds to emancipate, OP. You might, except for you can't access your money till you're 19, so you have no way of surviving on your own until then, and that sucks. Dad maybe didn't think about that, but we now know why he did what he did. And locked it up until you're 19. Because if you had access to this as a minor, your mom would take it. At the direction of her husband, of course, because he's more mad about this. There there is no, there is no, (sighs) there's no burden for you to share this money with people who were not connected to the gifter of it at all. The legal documentation says it goes to you. She can't change the law. She can't change a will. She can't change a legal document just because she thinks that you should do something different. This is one of those things that is, is, you know, I don't think it's a terrible thing for mom to think, to think something like, man, how great would it be if he developed a bond strong enough with his step siblings to be compelled himself to set something aside for them? That would be my dream. I would dream for them to have this bond and I would try to nurture that bond because it needed to be there anyway, not because of the money. But no, she just comes out and says, you need to do this. Basically, because we can't. You don't get to put your parenting failures on your children. 
you don't. It is not their responsibility. It sure as shit is not this kid's responsibility to provide for his step-siblings, who he has almost no relationship with already. It was not okay for you to ask, Mom. It was not okay for you to get mad when he said no. It was not okay for your husband to get even more mad when he said no. Y'all are ask on once, and you are going to drive such a chasm between you and this kid that five years from now, you're going to have been no contact for four years. And then your goal, which is creating some kind of future for the other three kids that you aren't going to be able to create some kind of future for on your own is going to be completely destroyed because they'll have absolutely no relationship whatsoever because of you. Way to go. Think your plan backfired here. And it's probably because you didn't use the thing inside of this to actually think about what you were doing or saying. Also, eat a bag of dicks. Yeah, I mean, this is beyond parent- parentification though, right? This is so beyond parentification. This is like, um, they're downright jealous of their kid now. And when you're, I, I can't imagine, you know, how toxic, how toxic of a scenario being jealous of your own kid makes you to the point where you're trying to manipulate them to help you. Wow. 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 That's terrible. Terrible. The mom could sue the estate for child support. There's probably I uh, as prepared as dad was here. I'm going to go out on a limb and say any kind of support order that was already in place has been satisfied through the entirety of that document. Know what I mean? He thought ahead about what he was setting up and how he was doing it. I'm sure he had the support portion of this paid in lump sum. I mean, there's a terrible burden that comes with money, right? We, I mean, everybody needs it. Everybody needs it. Everybody Everybody wants it. Everybody needs it. But I think there's probably a point where you have enough of it to where it stops doing good and does more harm than good. Uh, we would all we're all like, yeah, I'll see. Uh, I'll, I'll be the judge of that. Uh, yeah, I'll let you know when I get there. We all still want the problem, but there's probably a tipping point where it's just a curse. <laughs> they were formerly formally divorced. Yes. Uh, I mean, on the on the the support order. Maybe, but I, I'm, I'm seriously guessing that he has all of that satisfied already as prepared legally as he was. And even if even if she could, it would be a pittance amount compared to what what the inheritance is left behind. Right. But she still might. I mean, she could try to get every every she could claw for every penny she could. And they might have a case there. Something tells me that's not how they're thinking about things. They would rather spend their time and energy manipulating their child. Then, you know, try to pursue a legal route here, which is just bonkers, right? It's just bonkers.